Hello guys, Wilson Box here. In this video, I'm showing you several poison teams that you can use on the Fire Chief Challenge to achieve 22 million damage or even more. Let's check out. So this is the Chaos Shadows Fire. This is the one that we need to fight. We already know how this boss works. Uh, it's pretty tricky and I really advise that you leave this one for the last week because yeah, you need you need some heroes and some really nice strategies if you don't have Rook. So I'm not using Rook on any of these teams because if you have Rook, this should be really easy for you. So as you guys can see, I have already several teams that you can use. I have seven comps, this one no. I have six, this one doesn't work just to do some tests so i have around six teams and all of them i'm using throwbars and etc so throwbar to tank x to heal and then i have 3d passes to do most of the damage so the first one i am using this five i'll talk about the strategy in a second um so i'm using this five let's let's check them out so it's a poison team basically and i'm using this three so i'm using jatalea I'm using Durango and I'm using Twitch. So basically, Frobart on all of these teams is going uh, to use the spiritual, spiritual incense burner. Less on the corrosion teams, I'm using the Witches Remain on Frobart. But for the poison teams, I'm using the incense burner with this chest that will be helpful as well. Is going to have a 50% chance chance of dispel one breath from from the enemy. And he, he got, he's able to get this uh, damage reduction. Where is it? This one. So one stack of damage reduction. We don't want that uh, because it's going to reduce the whole damage. Then I have Exandra. Also with this Popatier gear that will help to reduce our damage because of this passive. The allies around the wearer gain a defense step equal to 15% of the wearer's defense. And then we have these three poison characters. So for Two of them, so Twitch and Durango, they work with Enlightenment. So I have some Enlightenment and Accuracy as well. Durango will be the one applying the defense penalty. He has three chances to do it. And then I have Twitch also doing some damage and with this Rascal Slingshot that will help to increase the damage as well. But our trick with this team is really to about Chatelea. So I really want to increase the maximum possible the poison stacks on this boss and when he's got like a lot of poison stacks and defense penalty I will, you'll, you'll, I will use the uh, Chatele ultimate so you really need to manual this if you want to achieve 22 million damage you can do it on auto but then you really need some affinity upgrades so let's have a look at our affinity so all of these fights I'm showing you guys is with the five upgrades here and my advice is, if you don't have a lot of legendary artifacts, then you really need to upgrade these ones because it's, it's going to help you a lot to achieve 22 million damage. So you really need at least this one to increase your damage because I was able to survive the full 5 minutes, so the problem is really the damage, not uh, the survivability. So for this one, I didn't use any legendary artifact, I just did it on manual because sometimes Chatelea doesn't ulti on the best time and I used this enlightenment as well. I'm going to talk about every team and then I'll start the fight and talk about the gear for sing every single car character. So for this one, um, I just did a test with this one, with Vikana. Vikana does a really good amount of damage but was not enough to achieve 22 million damage so she is not a really good one because she doesn't apply any poison stacks she does some damage, that's true, but she will not help doing that damage. So basically, for this strategy, Jetalaya is our main damage dealer. Of course, Durango and the other one will do some damage as well. Then, if you have Lotair, he can do the same thing as Jetalaya. So you can use this tree and apply some poisons and stuff, or you can use Durango if you have this one, Lotair, but you don't have this one. You can replace Jetalea with Twitch, so you will have Twitch, Durango, and then you can use the same strategy, but Lotair. So just give him some poison stacks on this boss, and then Lotair will do some damage because he has this passive that his damage will increase with poison, um, 
poison on damage or on the boss. So with poison on the boss. Then we have the corrosion teams. So with these ones, it's more easy. You don't need to manual anything. All of this was done on ma on auto mode. So 23 million damage for this team. I used Sacredia and Whisk and these guys. So Sacredia helps a lot to do some damage and Whisk does a lot of damage as well. So if you have these two and you, you don't need to use this one, of course, Dargo is the best one you can use from the Epic Corrosion. But if not, you can use another one as I'm going to show you on the next one. And as you guys can see on Fubart, I used it's it's which showing this one because it's not updated. But if I keep the 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 gear, you guys will see that I'm using Witcher's Remain on Fubart. Then, if you don't have this guy, you can use this strategy as well. So if you use this rare, they will give this crit damage aura. So this will increase our damage. So with this way, you just need Sacredia and two more. One epic in this guy. I use this one and this one, but as you guys can see, if you use this one instead of this one, you will be able to do uh, 22 million damage. So it's saying here 21 million. So the thing here, all of this I did with epic artifacts and which is remain. But if you are, I'm doing 21 million damage with just five, the five upgrades on the um, affinity. It means that if you do the less upgrades on the affinity tree, you're going to be able to do 22 million damage. And also, if you have some legendary artifacts, if you equip the best ones on these characters, they will do a bit more damage. And I did 20 million, 21 million something. So I'm sure you're going to do 22 million with these teams if you have some legendary artifacts, because all of this I did without any legendary artifacts. I can show you guys. So as you guys can see, I use this one here, Diabol here, Manticore here. So as you guys can see, I used zero legendary artifacts on this and then this was just a test i tried to use whisk instead of using sacredia and the, i did less 1 million damage so sacredia works much better with corrosion because she's going to um increase the corrosion on, on them by 20 percent so will be 20 percent more uh, damage on this boss and this boss is really tricky, especially if you want to do it on auto modes. You need to kill the, the small dragons that he spawns and also be fast enough to do damage on this boss. So going back on this on this team. So the last thing I want to say is I'm using Witch Remain on Durango and some crit because guys, he is able to reduce his ultimate energy by 5% each time he critical it. So with this strategy, I was able to inflict defense penalty on the boss and then I was able to do defense penalty on the small dragons. So this is it. I'm going to start the fight and talk about this, each single character here. So on this first comp, I have Rubart with the um, ancestral set. And this one is really good. It's going to uh, reduce the damage we take by 15% and also the wearer will take 15% less damage. I have defense percentage on these gloves and defense percentage on this chest because this is uh, healing, this one, this battle skill, will scale with defense percentage, that's why. And then I'm using sense burner because I need some accuracy and you can use a different artifact. So let's have a look. If you have a better one, you can use that's all right, but I tried with the crown of the clean and it doesn't work better than with this one with this sense burner You are casting your ultimate fast enough and this way you can inflict the attack penalty on the boss and the attack penalty on the small dragons as well And then I have some more accuracy and some more defense on him because we need at least 280 accuracy to inflict the attack penalty Then we have Exandra with the puppeteer gear the puppeteer set. This one is really good. She has some defense percentage on both chest and gloves, and that's because I'm using this uh, this three piece effect. So the all is around the wearer gain a defense step equal to 15% of the wearer's defense, and also is going to give 50 20% target's max HP healing when the all is reach below 50% HP. And as you guys can see, she's placed near our DPS. And then I'm using the Mirror of the Living 
uh, this one is really good on her because she's going to increase the healing that she's able to do. If you have some uh, defense to increase the, the, um, this passive from this set will be really good. If not, if you get something with Skillest as well to increase the, um, how often she can heal will help a lot as well. I've tried with some more other healers. So I tried, let me check. So I tried with Vcook. He's not, he's not doing a best, better job than Alexandra. I tried with Garion as well. I tried with Sifiris. So she's really good, of course. Of course, if you have Ugok, then Ugok will be will be doing an amazing job as well. You can use Ugok on here instead of Alexandra. Of course, he's going to be um, one of the best healers for a poison team. Then we have Durango. So Durango, I gave him some uh, accuracy and enlightenment. As you guys can see, I don't have much attack because his skills scale with enlightenment. This one with enlightenment as well. This one scales with attack. But he's doing enough damage for me. I have some enlightenment on his chest as well and crit rate on these gloves because when he crits, as I said before, when he crits, he's going to recharge his ultimate energy by 5%, which help a lot. So he's going to, able to be able to inflict a defense penalty on this boss and also on the small dragons. Then we have Uch with the slingshot. So he has 332 accuracy with the slingshot. So guys, this artifact is really, really good. It's going to give 8 attack for every 1 accuracy, which will be a lot, guys. So, if we have 332, let's just do some quick math. So, if we have 332, plus times 8 will give us 2656 more attack with just accuracy. And I gave him some enlightenment as well, attack defense percentage on his gloves because he's a bit squishy. So he was dying um, around one minute, so was not doing damage for one minute from the on the last minute. So I had to give him some more stats, defense stats. So he has some defense rune to help with that. It's going to do some more damage because he scales with enlightenment as well. This guy is really good doing damage as well. Then we have Jatalia. Jatalia will be the best character, the best damage dealer on this comp. I'm using the eyeball of the giant because most of this damage will be from this ultimate. And I'm using Emperor set, attack percentage here and crit rate on this side. If you have one with attack percentage but the Strachan prepared gloves, use them as well. They will do a really good amount of damage because I'm going to use this ultimate just when this boss has defense penalty. And then some more crit damage and accuracy. Of course, if you don't have much crit rate, then I don't think it's worth it to have crit damage here. Maybe replace it for, with some attack. So the ultimate is the where all the damage will come from, from Jatalea. So she is able for each stack of poison on a target, this skill de deals additional 2% target max HP. So guys, I was able to inflict like 15 to 20% stacks of poison so when i'm using the ultimate it will remove all of these poison stacks and do that dam damage based on that so will be a lot of damage so this was my first uh comp i used to achieve 22 million i achieved 23 million another thing you can replace if you have this artifact so if you have this one that increases the, the damage from ranged characters the downpipe organ, you can use it as well. It's going to increase your damage overall because we have two ranged ones, Jetalay and Twitch. Um, Durango is not a ranged one, but will increase the damage. And also the legendary artifacts that give 60% attack and not 45% as you can find on the epic artifacts. So of course, if you have better legendary artifacts you can use on these guys, just replace these epic artifacts. Next one, let's check the next team. So the next team I tried the Vicana and she was doing a really good amount of damage. But after all, she was not applying any poison sucks. And because of that, Chatele was doing less damage. And as you guys can see, was not enough to reach 22 million damage. Uh, I did less than that. So this will be not will not be a good option to use to achieve 22 million damage on this guy. So the next team is with Lota here. So Probart will have the same gear, 
Xandra as well, Jetaleia as well, the same gear, and Durango, same thing, the only difference will be Lothair, but as you guys can see, Lothair is basically using the Twitch gear, so Slingshot and all that, that stuff, he works with the Alightment as well, so I just replaced all of the gear on this guy, he has some defense as well, as you guys can see, and he was doing a really good amount of damage, but I had to use some of the ultimates on manual as well, because sometimes he was not using his ultimate on the best time. So for this one, this worked, but if you have all of these poison, poison characters, you can replace Jatalaya with Twitch and use Twitch and Durango and this guy Lotterir. Lotterir will work the same way as Jatalaya. If you have some stacks of poison on this boss and use ultimate from Lotterir, he's going to do a massive damage. So with this team, I was able to achieve 22 million damage, but again, with this one, I had to do some manual stuff because on alto mode, it's a bit tricky. You really need to use Jetaleia and Lutherir ultimates on the right time to increase your damage. Then I used this Corrosion team and on this one I was using these three guys, so Sacradia, I was using Whisk and this guy Dargo. So on Whisk I, use, I was using again another Emperor set, but on these guys I, I was not using any uh, accuracy or enlightenment guys so it was full damage attack percentage crit right crit damage and some hp and using the ice ball on the whisk then sacradia i was using manticore attack percentage on his chest and crit right more crit damage so full damage on these two and full damage on this guy as well i was using rp's nile attack percentage on his chest and gloves crit right again so again guys i know i'm always saying this but don't forget just use the strike on of the um, down prepared. If you don't have crit right gloves with crit right, then use the ones with attack percentage because if you are using some defense penalty, they will increase a lot your damage. On this one, Frobart is not using the incense burner anymore. This time he's, he's, he's using the witches remain because uh, I, I, I tested using the witches remain on Dargo, but we are doing more damage with the Witches Remain on Frubart. And with this team, I was able to do 23 million damage full auto. I have not done anything on manual. Sometimes Dargo will use the ultimate on the wrong time when these small dragons are already dead and his ultimate will not do any damage at all. So sometimes on this guy, on this boss will be much better if you do some of the skills on manual because sometimes these skills are really wasted on the wrong times. So the next team I used was with one rare, one corrosion rare. So we are using Sacradia again and same gear and same gear on Frobart and Xandria as well. But this time we are using Gragrir. So Gragrir is the same gear I was using before on the on Whisk uh, as I showed you guys. So attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage and HP and then Raz run will be using exactly the same gear but this guy is really good because on this one i use the crit damage arrow so since we have a lot of crit rate on these characters this crit damage arrow which will increase 24 percent our crit damage will help to increase our damage since we don't have whisk doing so much damage this guy will help to increase our damage but on this one i did just 21 million damage so Again, it's really important if you are using your best legendary artifacts and if you don't have good legendary artifacts to increase your damage, then just increase your prioritize your affinity tree on poison and ice because it will help to achieve 22 million damage. Finally, another corrosion team. This time I swapped the other guy, the other epic corrosion by Dargo. Dargo also does a lot of damage, he's really good. Then the other ones, they will be using the same gear I was using before. On this one, same thing, if you don't have legendary artifacts, then prioritize the infinity tree on, on ice poison because you need that. I did 21 million damage, almost 22. So if you have the infinity tree full completed for ice and poison, I'm sure you're going to do 22 million damage. Lastly, this was just a test. I have not used Sacredia. I used Whisk. So I used Razram, Dargo, and then I used Whisk again. And... I was not doing uh, 22 million damage, I did less than 21 million damage, I did around 20 million damage because Sacred increased the damage 20% of the Corrosion damage. Of course Whisk will do more damage by himself, but Sacred does 
more damage uh, than the epic Russian heroes and also is going to increase their damage. Of course, I was using Manticore and if you use, are using Highball, you will be doing more damage. So if you don't have Sacredia but you have Whisk, we, you can invest a little bit on more on him. And maybe if you upgrade the Infinity Tree, probably you're going to do 22 million damage. I hope so. So guys, this was it. I hope this helped you. A lot of people have been asking for some teams to do this case Shadows Fire so with the Poison team. This one is really tricky. It does a lot of damage. It keeps going on the air and coming back and doing a lot of damage. And we really need a really good amount of damage to achieve 22 million damage. Not even talking about um, doing more than that. It's already hard with legendary heroes to do 22 million damage. But of course, if you have some legendary artifacts and if you completed the tree for Ice Poison, I'm sure you're going to do 22 million damage or even more. That's, the, that's what I want and what I expect from you. So this is it. I hope these teams helped you guys. I hope you guys can do 22 million damage. I have not tried on my main account this boss, but I have some of these legendaries. And I hope I can do 22 million damage. This guy is really tricky. I have Sacred as well. So probably I'll try something with Sacred since you can do 22 million damage with her. But probably I need to upgrade some of the Infinity Tree because I don't have much legendary artifacts to help with my damage. I mean, I have some, but I don't have enough yellow instance to level up those artifacts to level 20 and give me 60% more attack. So guys, if this was helpful and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe to my channel to follow more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.